All right, hello. This is our first tap technique video uh, for Eagle Rock. And for this video, I was, it was requested for me to do some intermediate uh, tap steps. And when I was thinking about it, I thought, well, I should probably do a shim sham video um, since intermediate to advanced level dancers should learn the shim sham. Shim sham is like the international anthem of tap. Everybody knows a shim sham. And like almost everything in tap, it has differences. So there's different types of shim shams depending on where you learned it and who you learned it from. So just for cohesiveness for um, this studio, I would like to do a Leonard Reed version uh, to the 32 bar riff. And I'll put a link to that song or something as well with this video. Um, so that's a shim sham I originally learned. So I'm just gonna show that one to y'all. So this will be a little bit of a long video, but at least it'll be in the records of what shim sham to teach for the historical portion of intermediate to advanced level tap dancers. So let's just jump right in. It'll be quick. Here we go. All right, to begin, the shim sham. Um, it always starts on an eight count. So it'll be in eight, in a set of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. But we'll start that first step on the eight, which will be a stamp. Yeah, so we'll do four of those. And then we'll do a ball change, so it'll look like this. Yeah, this is your first stamp, so you'll pick it up and brush it back. sections and in between mm, three of them there will be this break so we'll repeat a few times you'll have a step forward dot then you're going to step back on it step, hop, step, hop, step, out, slide it in so that's our break So 
that's our first three. And our last one will happen right after that. So we have super jazzy, super fun. You jump out, you can make it super fun. Really good. Out, step back, shuffle. I'll post the song that I usually use. Uh, yeah, there you go. Thanks, ladies.